Okay, in this video, we're going to compare XLOOKUP with index match in the context of doing a two way lookup. So I've got to calculate the discounted price based on this table over here, which gives a percentage discount based on the category of the product and the quantity purchased. So we'll do it first of all with XLOOKUP. So I'm going to look up the category letter within these column headings. I'll lock that with F4, comma, and our return array is going to be, well, any of these discounts, which I'll also lock. So that returns the five discounts available to category A products. I need to return the correct one of these discounts based on this quantity. So I'm going to put this X look up within another. And I'm looking up this quantity in this column here of row headings, which I need to lock. And the return array is the previous X lookup, comma, if not found, I'm not worried about here. Match mode, it needs to be exact match or next small item. So for example, 78 has no exact match. So you go to the next smallest item, which is 50, which will give you a 5% discount. So if I close the bracket there, that's exactly what I get. If I copy that down, I get the other discount. So the discounted price would be the total times, open bracket, one minus the X lookup. Now, what if I wanted to spill this formula rather than copy the formula down? So let's delete everything but the first formula. So what I would do is rather than referring to J2, I'm going to refer to J2 to J12. Rather than referring to H2, I'm going to refer to H2 to H12. And rather than referring to G2, I'm going to refer to G2 to G12. I can then get rid of any of these dollars because I won't be copying the formula. And if I press enter, you see I get the value error. So you'll see that this happens if you try to create a spilled version of this two-way XLOOKUP formula. Now, the way around this is to use the map function, but it is a lot more involved. And you might decide it's better just to use index and match, but I'll give you an example. So what we need to do is map these three columns, cat, quantity, and total. Then we use the lambda function. And we have to give each of these three ranges a name. So first one would be cat, then quantity, then total. Then we need to perform our calculation. So we've already got our calculation in place, but instead of referring to these ranges, we refer to the names we gave these ranges in the map function. So J2 to J12 is total or TOT. H2 to H12 is quantity. And G2 to G12 is cat. So if I just close brackets at the end here and press enter, you can see that that does indeed work. Question is though, is it worth it? I use index and match or X match to do the same thing. It's much easier. So array, it's this array here, our row number, we calculate using X match. So I'd be looking up these quantities and the lookup array is here, column A. The match mode is exact match on next small item. Close the bracket. Then the column number, well, I would use another X match. So the lookup value would be in column G this time. And I'm looking up in this row here. And this is an exact match, so I can just close the bracket. Close the bracket again for index. That gives me the percentages. So all I need to do is multiply all the totals by 
open bracket 1 minus the result of the index function.